finest Yasmani Grandal will be at catcher today in his very first debut on the team. If you don't know what's special about this Yasmani Grandal, I will tell you right now that his gold has one of the best swings in this game. So he's going to be a very offensive catcher. Here are his stats, 80 and 88 contact, which is very above average. 92 and 113 power up there with some of the best power catching diamonds in this game. 92 vision. Fielding is very good. And blocking, I don't really like looking at the blocking stats because MLB The Show has always had problems with uh, catchers blocking pitches. So, But nonetheless, 96 diamond, Yasmani Grandal on the team. I really hope the Milwaukee Brewers re-signs him. Uh, you know, I love the offense that he brings for the team. I want you guys to know that this is super special to me, and I'm ready to, I'm ready. I'm ready to hit some bombs with him today. We're currently at a 654 rating at 137 and 67. So the wins are starting to pile up here for us. Once we get to 700, it should be a little bit easier to play. I notice I play a little bit better on Hall of Fame than All-Star. All-Star, anything can happen. So, and we still do have to play with Garrett Cole and the new Jack Flaherty. So they're on the starting rotation as well. Make sure you leave a subscribe down below if you want to see more videos just like this one with post notifications. Thank you for the support, man. Off season like this, it's it's been crazy good because the last two years usually, you know, MLB the show dies down around this time, and I love that the content is still pumping out and people are still very interested. And there's competitive MLB the show too, so I don't know if I'm gonna do any of the competitive stuff this time around, but I hope we get a little bit more notice next time so I can plan ahead. I was I, I missed some stuff over the weekend. Oh my god. Okay, so we have to go up against the Garko. We have Clint Kershaw on the mound today. Grandal will be in the three spot. He has a lot of great cards. Griffey, Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig. This is this is gonna be a sweaty game. We got Parkland, MOD, J Sax, 32. And we have to deal with the Garko. Here we go. As Monty Grandal versus Garrico, we do have home field advantage. This guy is 72 and 26. He is up there. I would consider this guy elite. There we go, Kershaw. If if anyone's got to go up against uh, Garrett Cole, it, it has to be Kershaw, man. Still one of the top starting pitchers in this game, and he's showing you guys right there why. Nice little strikeout to start the game. I'm excited. Get get me some guesses down below. Where do you think Yasmani Grandal will finish today? And is he going to make your team? That's my question. Nice, Kirsch. Very good. Straight back to the mound for two outs on a very good team. That works. That works. A great 1-2-3 inning for Clayton Kershaw. We now have Willie Mays, Ted Williams, and Yasmani Grandal going up against the Garrett Cole. That is a great lineout. Ooh. Way to start the game, man. Oh my goodness. That is unfortunate. Square that one up, guys. Oof. Big oofs. Ted Williams has been great, man. Very happy with this pickup. I have not finished the inning program yet, but I did pick him up out of the market, so... Very happy with what he's done for the team here. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous for his Monte Grandal, dudes. He's gonna do good, though. He's gonna do well. Ooh, what a snag. We're smacking it. Here we go, Yasmani Grandal. So his PCI is a little bit smaller. Good take. He, I think he's got 125 discipline too. So he will pull back when he needs to. One, two counts. The pitch. Two, two. <sighs> Great swing. Great swing on a bad pitch. That's on me. That's on me, and still, he still hit that pretty well. A 2-1 count to Nolan Arenado with runners in scoring position. Very good card, as you saw from his own debut. 2-2 two, two count. Ooh, staying alive. Ah, 3-2 count. So the high hits per nine is really weird with Garrett Cole. And he walks him, and we get the third base steal. Wow, with Lou Gehrig up to bat. We just got to make sure we elevate this pitch. We just got to make sure we elevate this here. No funny business. No double plays. No! Like I said, no double plays. That was smacked. Nolan Arenado over there at third base doing his job for him. So lucky. So I have a quick little theory. All right. I, I don't know 
if this is a confirmed thing or anything. But my theory is that the higher the hits per nine is on a, on a starting pitcher in a given game, the fielding, everyone's fielding, is going to be boosted for that said team. That's that's my my little theory. Okay? So like someone like Kershaw with the higher hits per nine, that means my fielders will get a little bit of, of a boost. Because that's what it seems like, you know? Oh no, Grandal! That's not what we needed, bro! No! <laughs> no! That might be the only flaw on this card. That might be the only flaw. Look at that. Oh no. Arm strength is a little slow too. Oh my god, back to back! Especially with Kershaw on the mound? You should already know how Kershaw pitches, dude. Ooh, that was close. That probably would have scored a run. There we go. Nice strikeout. Wow, he's swinging at that. It is a 2-2 count. Should have been a 3-2 count. Oh, no. Where do I pitch this? Where do I pitch this? Nice. That works out so well. Two outs. Good job, Kirsch. Inning for Yasmati Grandal. He, he does get a chance to redeem himself this inning, though. Come on, see what I mean? I, I feel like the animations are gonna be a little bit weirder with guys with higher hits per nines. Here he is though, second at bat for Yasmati Grandal. Great swing last last time hit up. Ooh, bro, we just dropped the PCI just a little bit on that one. Well, it's supposed to be. Honestly, I don't think this is his power side in, on, on this card. So, but three one counts. Again, dude, he got me on that outside high pitch. 0 for 2. The only excuse right now is that it's because Garrett Cole is on the mound. Yo, we gotta get something going here, man. Like I said, I don't know if the game with the hits per 9 is just not giving me base hits. Oh, he made a mistake there. That works. But I don't know if the game is just being weird and not giving me animations. There we go. As soon as I start to complain. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's all right. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with him getting out at second because now we have a man on third. Come on, Lou. You got this. This is all you, brother. <laughs> yes. There it is. Oh! Oh! Did we just kill Garrett Cole? Oh my god. Garrett Cole! Oh! oh my god. What? Oh no! Oh! 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 <laughs> He's staring at it! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. He, he doesn't even do anything. He's like, dude, I'm okay, man. I'm okay. <laughs> if Willie Mays can get on base and then no double plays happen, here's Monte Grandal. Should be eight. Nope, never mind. Never mind. I mean, Ted Williams could hit home run and Grandal bats this inning, but we probably won't see that third at bat until the seventh inning. Whoa, come on, dude. I guess the high pitches to Grandal, the high and away, are not, it's not his thing, man. It's not his forte. There it is. Oh, I'm surprised that wasn't done. We didn't do more with that. Just a simple, simple single up the middle. He hung that curveball, man. And we were all over it. Let's go, Arenado. If that gets through, that might score. And it does not. Crap. We needed that to go through. Edgar Martinez. Confidence is booming on this Kershaw. He probably still has 20 more pitches in him. There we Jesus. How many of those are you going to... Jesus. Oh, no. We missed right down the middle. Thank God the game's kind of even with lineouts today, though. I still do have more, like, hit balls than him. He struck out at least six times. 
to my zero, I think. He might have even struck out more than that. What the heck was that? That I hit that pitch exactly where it's supposed to go. Missed it. Oh crap. There we go. Woo! Kershaw is on fire. Tatis, that should come down here with 91 speed. Yes, it does. Huge inning. We need it. We're only up one. We need that insurance. Kershaw is done. We're bringing in Ken Griffey Jr. Here we go. You guys are probably wondering, why is Ken Griffey in, on the bench? He's batting 250 with, for me. Everyone else in the outfield batting at least over 300. Wow, Griff. That's more than a base hit. Willie Mays, does that stay fair? Off the foul post, it's three to zero. Willie Mays, <gasps> and he quits out before we can even get another bat with Yasmani Grandal. Dang it, chat. Oh, no. Grandal gets another chance. We got to give Grandal another chance. To be fair, to be fair, he had to go up against Garrett Cole for two of his at-bats, and then Trevor Hoffman. So that was a good dub. Good sweaty dub there. 683. One more win should get us over 700, and then we should be able to cruise all the way to World Series to get the Babe Ruth. I can't wait for that. 600,000 stubs. He's honestly probably going to be starting for me, though, at first base. I don't know what I'm going to do with Lou Gehrig. 269 batting average. That's actually pretty easy to let go, so I'm not going to be too sad about it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today. If Yosemite Grandal makes your team, let me know in the comments below and in your debut, what did you guys do with him? Obviously, for me 0 for 3 I mean he didn't strike out he flew out popped out and lined out to first base in that game so defense wise he let a few pitches go by him fairly easily so kind of watch for that maybe don't throw so much into the uh into the in the dirt so check out these other two videos leave a subscribe down below and smash that like button if you guys want more pack luck otherwise you probably will not pull another diamond so again thank you so much for watching and as always I'll catch you in the next one.